Set, there's the flag. They sprinting away from the 1200 metre marker. Was an hour, three off the left hand side began nicely as one of the early leaders. Edge of tomorrow's right there. There's Wile Ilalis on the left hand side. Then comes Klonda Ekukanyen. He's racing about a length and a half off them, followed by Whistle the Tune. That's on the right hand side. Then comes Grand Occasion. Ruby Risings, only a length and a half off them. Hot Lavas towards the inside. Quid Pro Quo is about two and a half, three lengths off the leaders at this stage as they come down to the 500 metre mark. Zola Zola and Sandy's horizon towards the back of the field. Was an hour was towards the inside. Quid pro quo the red cap. These two have gone away from edge of tomorrow. On the inside Lizwila Ilali's trying to run on. Whistle the tune is also towards the outside. 300 to go. Quid pro quo the red cap takes it up. Was an hour was on the inside. Then comes Whistle the tune. Towards the outside she's a machine trying to run on but Quid pro quo has run away from them and Quid pro quo will win it by about three or four lanes. What will run second? That will go to Whistle the Tune, Wazanawa, and then Lizuila Ilali. Number eight, Quid Pro Quo is victorious, and that pays up 270, ends up the toad favourite. Byron Waters, Smunga Kumalo, the lance for Mr. Khalil, also bred, and they win it. And number eight, as I say, toad favourite at 270, so it's back to back victories. Wins it, and wins it by about three lengths. Second position, Whistle the Tune, number 14, beaten maybe four or five lengths. Then came Wazanawa, that's number three. And the fourth position went to Lizuile Ilali, further back in the field, edge of tomorrow. So the winner is towards the left-hand side, white sleeves and the red cap. Wazanawa's got the purple cap on the left-hand side. And staying on is Whistle the Tune. But number eight is victorious at the business end of race one. The bipod pool that got two, let's just looking for it, 206,000 Rand. Back to the studio.